Hello and welcome back to the Golden Century DLC Let's Play of Castile Spainy thing. So we completed the mission in the last episode, prepare the Reconquista and reclaim Andalusia. So now we have this uh, event. So uh, all the important locations in Granada once again under our control, we must decide what to do with the Morisco population. It is true most of them never supported the rebellion, but how could we trust them not to turn on us in the future? So we could expel them all, lose two stability, everyone changes to Catholic, and um, Granada is gone. Or we could just gain a stability. Easy choice, in my opinion. Also, I know from experience that if you expel them, they come back and they are pissed off, and it's not good. So, yeah, get rid of it. So we'll do that, and at some point we will. Oh shit! Yeah, they've they've changed the uh, the way that conversion works. So now it's a monthly cost to convert. I'm gonna have to figure that out afterwards because I am not sure how that really works just yet. So you guys can now protect trade in Sevilla. I'm gonna. It says I'm gonna lose money, and it's, it's probably true, but. I'm sure it's also fine. So what I want is tech five, so I can start getting idea groups, and then I am immediately going to be taking exploration and explorationating literally everywhere. So England, because it didn't join any war, it's not actually doing too badly. It's still got its uh, French holdings. France, meanwhile, has completely annexed Brittany. So, uh, yeah, bye, Brittany. It was nice knowing you. Um, my force limits probably jumped up a bit, but not much I'm going to do about that. Gained two boats from the uh, from the war. Seuss has raided me. These fuckers. Can you just maybe not? Thanks. Uh, go, go to Sevilla. I actually don't want everyone doing this. You guys can protect trade in Sevilla. Then, um, move out of the way. You guys are going to hunt pirates in Sevilla with the other dudes. You go away, and you go away. You guys group up. You hunt pirates, Sevilla. There we go. Lovely. Everyone's doing something useful, except you. I guess repairing your boats is, is kind of useful, too. Let's rename this one to... Granada. There we go. I feel like the Spanish probably would rename their ships, right? This is also an identically named ship. So we'll call this the Jane. France declared war on England. So everything I just said, uh, ignore all of it. It's all kind of useless now. Um, so, uh, where is it? Malaga gets local fortifications. Malaga. Uh, I don't think you're going to be keeping a fort. But sure, you can have them anyway. Is it actually still in a culture? Yeah, it's Andalusian, so it's a culture group that I accept. Basque is a part of my culture group as well. Recall diplomat from there. Who do I want my diplomat to go to? Who do I want to be friends with? Maybe Austria. That's not the button. That's the button. Pope man will improve relations with you. And who else? Portugal, I don't really care about you. Let's start building a spy network on you, actually. Nope, you may not have access. Although, if I do give you access, then you just die. So, maybe I should give you access. Can't do that anymore. Oh well. Uh, Pope Man is now France. Let's see if we can get the next Pope Man. Morocco have claimed Malaga. Well, you're not keeping it. You're not having it. Don't be silly. Still losing money. It'd be real swell if I could get some tech and build some bloody churches or some marketplaces. Like, that would be nice. Almira and all of the rest of them are cord, right? So now let's check out. Ah, great. I told you, as soon as someone takes that, I get screwed. Alright, so. 
conversions. So, let's do the cheapest one first, Gibraltar. If we click this, we have negative 0.3%. Is it still gonna actually get converted? Or is it just gonna cost me money? It's literally just gonna cost me money. So they've just they've just changed the way that it works. Screw you then. I ain't no fan of that, but whatever. Send an emissary to the Pope. Get a missionary, that might be useful. Probably should have taken this one from the start, right? Put this back up. So yeah, start with Gibraltar. I mean, it's just, it's just everything that it used to have, it still has all of the, all of the bonuses and negatives and blah, blah, blah. They're all still there. It now just costs you money. Or maybe it's, I mean, it does cost you more money than usual, right? Is it just giving you more information than it used to, or does it actually cost more money than usual? I would actually have to check. Let's do this guy as well. Why not just go into mad amounts of debt to convert my land? Because, because why not? Yeah. You can go over here and start uh, putting down rebellions and shit. Oh god, no, I don't have my... Uh, my keyboard shortcuts. Damn it. Uh, we probably will want to be making this a state as well, but not until after I have um, tech. Unless I can make it a state and start using edicts regardless. Oh, that's where you get the holy orders. Uh huh. Okay, fair enough. So I could do that over here as well. It costs you points, but you gain base tax in every province. Then it makes construction cost and militia, uh, missionary strength. I can't do that here because I don't have cores. So, yeah. Uh, unrest and devastation. Culture conversion cost. Because that's a thing people give a shit about. At least you get production in all of the provinces. I mean... I mean, I guess it makes sense if you can get rid of them as well. Because, look, it costs me... Um, where is this? Entire thing is four provinces. So if I was to cre increase the de uh, development in every single one of these provinces, it's 49 plus 54 plus 55 plus 64. I ain't going to do the maths, but you can if you want to. Uh, if I was going to increase the production development on every single one of these provinces, it's objectively more than clicking this button. Plus I get an extra benefit. If you can freely swap between these, I feel like it's worth it. Right? Because <laughs> then it's just one click, you get 50, you spend 50 admin points or 50 dip points or whatever, and you increase by four development. That could actually be worth it. I wonder as well if that development would also um, increase your, what's it called? This this thing here, your renaissance ticky bullshit. You know what, let's give it a click. Let's give it a click. Let's give it a military click, right? Because I don't really care about the military. So Valladolid has zero in renaissance progress. Valladolid now has some renaissance progress because I put it up to 10 development. Right. But that it didn't actually give us any to start with. And no, you cannot get rid of the holy order. You cannot switch it over. I mean, it's... I guess kind of interesting. If you're wanting to do a one culture run, then culture conversion cost, putting that everywhere, I guess it's kind of useful. 
doesn't seem to be something I would mess with too terribly often, though. To be perfectly honest. So Grenade and Separatists are absolutely going to be rising up. Torquemada and the conversion of the Moors. So I could just... Uh, turn it all to Catholic immediately for, like, free. Or gain another stability. Yeah, screw it. Oh, shit. Okay. Phew. I thought that had risen up in uh, the province where I'm drilling. Which would have been incredibly bad. But either way, they're all freaking my culture now. My religion. My culture, except. It's all good stuff. Let's all stand in Almira. So hopefully he will be drawn on to Malaga and then we can just go and kill him in the mountains. That seems to be the best way to go about this. Also, rulers fucking suck. Enrique, just go away. And... Pressing union between Aragon and France. Whatever. Looks like I'm going to have to spend some military points. Ta-da! Three shock, two siege. Isn't actually too bad. You know what? I'll take it. There we go. We'll go and kill you in Malaga. Probably should have brought one extra dude so I wasn't getting flanked, but whatever. There should be a stable government. There already is a stable government, fuck you. Yes, you may have access. Go and murder the Portuguese, I don't care. Right, all of the religious bullshit is taken care of for now until I get stabbed in the back by returning moors. Where's the best place to put my dudes? Huelva apparently has the best um, supply limit. So we'll go and chuck everyone in Huelva. Alright, Sevilla is actually dry lands. Didn't know that. You can drill. Henrique is dead. So hopefully I'll get a new dude soon enough. Dude, dude, move your ass. I came here because there was supply limit and now you're fucking with it. Go away. You big bag of assholes. Alright. Uh, Pope man, I can't marry you, unfortunately. Is there anyone else who I would potentially like to ally with? Austria. Yeah, get me one of them Hab Habsburg dudes. But not until after I get this wedding thing going on. Allied with Naples. You've already lost Naples. You fucking waster. You waste of life. Why would you do that? Navarra is your junior partner, but Naples, nah, they broke free. I wanted Naples to be under me, you bastard. Uh, guess you can't have anything in this world. Right, you're drilling quite happily. Uh, let's check it up to speed five, because there's not much going on right now. Yep, we'll marry you. We need we need to farm prestige from somewhere. There is some tech. Jeez, somebody's already taken the next tech twice again. Somebody took the that tech like this month. Jesus. All right, but we have some money, so what I'm going to do is build a couple of these because some good provinces for that. What I do is anywhere above like 10 ducats a month, because then it, I think it's like 50 years for it to take uh, to pay for itself, and you know that works for me. I don't want to get any new troops yet, but I would love to get rid of me.
Did I just get Habsburg? I fucking did. Am I even gonna get this fucking royal marriage then? Hold the fucking hell on. What? No, I, I want I want me a... Where's me? God damn it. Alright, so we're gonna have this Castilian Civil War. There's no way to stop it. Oh well, whatever. We'll deal with it when it comes. Can be stopped by being in a disaster, being in a lesser a lesser partner in a personal union, or not being a monarchy, and that's obviously not going to happen. Yeah, I feel like maybe the marriage with the Habsburgs probably wasn't for the best, because now I have a bloody Habsburg on my throne, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this uh, union over Aragon anymore. Which is shitty, because I want it. I haven't played Spain in very, very long time, so what I'm going to do is um, check between episodes what the actual... Uh, uh, what the requirements are, because I don't actually know. At least he's a woman, right? Yeah, we've got a female heir, so maybe it, maybe it's still on. Maybe it could still be on. We'll have to figure it out. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna have to check. Because I know the end of the Castilian Civil War does something regarding dynasties and shit. But I could not say for sure. I remember that um, lovely innovativeness we got right at the start of the game for getting Miltech? It's all fucking gone. You know whose fault it is? This dick out here. No way, I don't care. You only get innovativeness if you're fucking Italy. That's it. If you're anyone else but Italy, get fucked. No innovativeness for you. One thing I do want to say as well, though. Right, if we have a look at our flagshipy doodad. There's one, there was one here for faster uh, getting on and off boats. I have been recommending for years, literally years, that that, you know, getting on and off boats should be a finisher for naval ideas. Because that would mean that I might consider naval ideas. Right now, there is no way I would consider it, because right now they are trash. So are Maritime. Maritime is still trash. But giving the option to get on and off boats faster, that would make me consider it, because that would mean I would lose less men uh, to attrition when, you know, getting on and off boats. Just saying, just saying, I've, I've been recommending it for years now. Could have been done. Could have been done already. But it hasn't been. Alright, McQueen's dead. Great. If I am... Um, if this if this guy's dead... If Juan de Crestomar is dead, I'd be in a Regency Council. And Regency Council has a higher chance of getting the wedding. So maybe maybe that's something we can look forward to. Uh, do I want National Tax Modifier or do I want Manpower? Easy choice. I don't think I've ever chosen anything else. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a terribly long series. I mean, it is vanilla, and I am running at speed 5. So, you know, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But, um, I don't know, it, it, is, it is okay. It's, it's not bad. It's just not exactly the cup of tea that I prefer. I do like my mods. So, religiously, yeah, everything is converted. How long until I've got this again? National Unrest plus seven. That's fucking terrible. Uh, gain admin points. Yes, please. We're, we're Spain. Inflation has never hurt Spain in the history of Spain, ever. Get maintenance modifier. Making money again, which is nice. I forgot, why were we losing so much money? Can't remember. Where's my inflation at right now? Oh, it's going up so fast. I really need to do something about that. 
Wait, I'm spending 0.97. I could spend the same amount. Sorry, half as much for the same benefit. Easy choice. New units. Let's go with the men at arms because I can't pronounce that in the longbow's English. And we're not playing as England. Um, yeah, seems worth it. God, ev almost everything is con um, owned by some estate. It's nasty. Is it worth giving this to the burgers? Mm, probably, probably would be. You increase my oh, it increases trade power. It doesn't increase my production. Oh well. Either way, I'm going to take a short break here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remind you that I have a referral link in the description below if you would uh, care to, you know, help me out, help out the channel. And uh, likes and comments are always useful in uh, at the start of any new series, so uh, that would be cool too. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.